Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time. It is Thursday afternoon, which means it's the three amigos. How are you guys doing? How you doing, Dion? Howdy, gents. I'm doing great. Ready for round through, round three. <laughs> and we're going to call this speed dating questions from the one rental at a time group. Exactly, exactly. How you doing, Matt? I'm doing awesome. I'm so very excited for these questions. I quickly glanced at them, but I didn't actually read anything past like the second one. So yeah, I was like, there's a long <laughs> list. I'm not reading this. I'm just going to go through it live. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. How it is. So yeah, I love yeah. this speed dating. This is questions again from the special private uh, one rental at a time works Facebook group. You only can get in if you're a student of which all three of us have contributed. And thank you both for being active members in the course. I greatly appreciate it. So, okay. Um, we'll just go Matt. Matt, we'll start, give them go Dion, and then I'll okay. answer. So this, uh, Nathan, these are from you. Your most challenging deal to close to date and why, what happened, what'd you do, all of that stuff. Matt? Uh, 2009. <laughs> okay, 2009? <laughs> yeah. That, was that when it, right when it rolled over? It was, it rolled in eight. Yeah, okay. it rolled in the last quarter of eight where we okay. were. And right. so I was buying in the first quarter of nine. And <laughs> <laughs> so what that basically meant was um, it took me, it took me 117 days, I think, oh, wow. to get that deal done. And that was, uh, I was, the property had been foreclosed on by Wells Fargo. Mm -hmm. I actually thought, hey, if I go to Wells Fargo on this, this might make sense. And so I did that. And that, it was, that didn't work. That was a whole They did not strategy. want that loan. That did not, <laughs> that's one of those logic things. It sounds yeah. good, but they did Horrible not want idea. that probably. Yeah. They did not. They were just like, Ugh, this is no. like a bad penny. That's <laughs> the last thing it. we're lending on. Yeah. So literally what happened. So yeah, like 117 days is the number that was burned in my head. It was just short of four months. Yeah. And okay. we all know that there were plenty of appraisers available. There were plenty yeah. of everything available except for liquidity. Yeah. And so, and that was, and I was a seven, I was high sevens for a credit score. Um, yeah. yeah, it was not, but that was, that, that deal was, and that was going to be an owner oct duplex. And that oh, took wow. me on just under four months in, in 09. And that's, that was the, that was the toughest deal by far. We got it done, but it was a nightmare. Yeah. How about you, Dan? My most challenging deal was my best deal, I think, almost. Hmm. It's the fourplex that I'm house hacking now. Oh, cool. Um, I know you don't, you don't fall in love with the deal, but I fell in love with the numbers. I was going oh, to add yeah. by renting out the unit I was in, getting paid $1,700 a month to move into the unit. It was $2,500 a month in cash flow change just by moving. Wow. But the challenging part was county records, sales, listing agent, tenants, nobody could tell me where the well was. And there was, <laughs> and it has a well and a septic. And, and somehow the well is shared with a business that's next door. So no one would tell me if the well was on my property or the property of the business and that I was getting the shared water or I couldn't figure anything out. And so my stress level went up to here because the numbers were so amazing. Yeah. So $2,500 yeah. a month in extra cash flow after taxes, if I can get this deal to go. Yeah. And at some point I, I finally just said, I don't care. Okay. I'll take a place with the well over there. And if I have to pay them, whatever ends up the wells on my property, that business pays me a third of any water costs. Okay. Um, so worked out great, but that was the biggest challenge I've had because it lasted two weeks of trying to find a record on where's the water coming from. Mm. Yeah, so I had a deal back in the I think I think it finally closed in eleven. I had a deal that lasted over a year. Oh, um, started as a short sale, and I don't remember the numbers. It was one of those deals that I just felt I had to close just to say I closed it at some point. But this was in the this was in the craziness. So. Mm -hmm. It started, they were owner occupied. They wanted out. Actually, no, it probably started in nine because it, it hadn't bought them yet. So it started at nine. Let's say I agreed to 150. Um, the bank couldn't find the paperwork. So the bank agreed, but then the bank couldn't find the mortgage or they thought it was sold. Six months later, we've had two extensions to the uh, foreclosure. The family gives up. They leave now. They go move mm. East coast. It's still a short sale, but now they're no longer responsive. Mm -hmm. It eventually becomes a foreclosure. The bank has to take over because now it's empty, right? It's, sure. it's at risk. Uh, I think they did mail the keys in or deed. They were trying to do deed in lieu. It didn't work for whatever reason. 
So the bank eventually has to foreclose, still doesn't have evidence or I can't get clean title Mm. because they can't find all of this. So they eventually have to pay some attorney to do some special process, which I don't even know what it's called. Um, But all along the way, my price keeps getting cheaper. I had an initial agreement at 150 as occupied. They were going to be, they actually were going to become my tenants. Hmm. Um, They again leave. I think I ended up closing that place at 77 K after it'd been broken into it got, it got known because once a property is known vacant, of course, of course, of course, you know um, so it went from a very nice, what I would call turnkey, you know, live in flip that I would, that I love to do then I'd love to keep the owners in. Sure. Just didn't work out. And then the paperwork and yeah, there it's over a year. It was started as a short sale, then a foreclosure. Yeah. It's tough. How much did you spend to get it right? 21, 22, it was over okay. 20 grand. So you got, you basically got a 50% discount and then you spent mm-hmm. 20 grand. Yeah. And again, the, the house today, I still own, it's probably worth almost 400. So yeah, awesome. it, it was, but that was, I remember wanting to give up lots of times, except that like, well, that's a really good house. It's in a real nice area. And they keep letting me lower the price because I kept going back. Well, it's because the market, it had to be, it had to start in the 09 then. And then we yeah. must've closed in 10 because the market was down. And I got a new price probably once every 90 days. Wow. So that was. Um, Mark to market. Yeah, that was tough. I mean, I felt so bad for them. Yeah. We had an agreement. They were all great. We had, we even had the bank agree to the 150 and then they couldn't freaking find the paperwork. I'm like, I can't help with that. <laughs> There's nothing <laughs> I could do. Exactly. Excuses, 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 excuses. Then they give up. Then they leave. Then then I can't do anything because then the bank has to foreclose. They got to do an NOD and then an NOD to the courthouse. And mm. yeah, part of me should have given up and just not, but I was, I was committed and I still own the house. So yeah. it's okay. All right. So that was mine. Yeah. It took over a year, it took over a year. All right. Next current favorite read real estate or not. Uh, we'll go to Dion first. Uh, oh, my nerd is really going to show us down here. <laughs> So I break up my reading, Mm -hmm. auto listening. I don't read, I listen, Mm -hmm. Um, you know, real estate, finance. um, I'm looking forward to getting your next book because I'm going to narrate the audible version. So that'll be an interesting read for me because I have to read (laughs) and then talk. Yeah. Um, But right now I am listening to, I don't know, book nine or 10 in the Expeditionary Force by Craig Allenson. It is a space opera uh, just for entertainment value. Um, Nice. So there, if there's any other fellow nerds out there, it's a great book series. There you go. I did not even know that was a book series. Very cool. And you, Matt, what are you reading? Last book, last book I read was your book, Mike. <laughs> 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 I'm not what some would call a reader. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't read a whole lot, but yeah, I can, so I... but I read, uh, I read really exciting things like, uh, New Hampshire border realtors. I read Jesus. the stuff I read is like super, super ultra nerdy, boring. Uh, yeah. but it's all like consumption of statistics and understanding that stuff. And then, uh, trends of like product. Mm-hmm. So I'll actually read product spec sheets cause I'm a dork. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I'll like read product spec sheets. Like, you know, talk when they talk about, you know, this is why it lasts longer. And, you know, this, uh, you know, this heat exchanger is a better heat exchanger because of this. And then I talked to my plumber about, yeah. So I kind of geek out. Wow. Yeah. Wicked dark. Yeah. Sorry. Wow. Okay. Well, all right. Yep. So uh, what's it? I have a little pile of books right here. Uh, Mm -hmm. Extreme ownership. Love this book. Highly recommended. I actually got it autographed. Kind of cool to me. Oh, very cool. Pillars of wealth. I thought this was a pretty good, pretty good read. Tribe of Millionaires. I thought that was a really good read. I think this was a really good read. And then, of course, I just started reading now that I've got my book, Real Estate, uh, 15 Conversations with Real Estate Millionaires. I haven't read it cover to cover because I I built it in chunks over a year. So I actually started reading that last night um, because everybody in that book's my friend. So it it was fun to go back and go, I hope hope they're not going to be mad. (laughs) <laughs> oh, I would blow people's doors off with the list of books that I've read in the last 10 years. Yeah. It's like less than five. <laughs> <laughs> I, I might've read that much last month. 
Yeah. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. Yeah. I've yeah, listened no. to at least that month, many in the last month. Yeah. yeah. Rich Rich Dad Poor Dad still haven't read it. I love that. <laughs> All right. Um, horror make ready stories. Um, Dion, I think would we'll go to you first. <clears throat> I I, I want to say I have one. Um, okay. I buy rent ready or already occupied. I bought one that had a hoarder in it. Oh, that was part funny. of the. Part of the caveat was that tenant would be removed before I took ownership. Mm-hmm. And it was a whopping $400 to hire a guy who said, as long as I get to keep anything I find, I'll go clean it out for you. Okay. Cleans it out. And they had plastic down because it was literally a hoarder house. Sure. And underneath the plastic was immaculate hardwood floor. So literally no problem was my biggest possible problem. Wow. Mm. Nice. Show off. All right, Matt, <laughs> I'm guessing that's not the answer for you. <laughs> no, it's not the answer for me. I bought a house uh, probably seven years ago, and I knew it was a hoarder house. Mm-hmm. But I thought, I was like, you know what? This is kind of fun. Like, it'll be fun kind of going through this stuff because a guy had inherited it from his parents. Yeah. And so they had hoarded it for whatever it was. I don't know. It was a long time. And so I was like, yeah, like this, this actually should be kind of fun. And aside from the world's largest porn stash. (laughs) That was funny. Holy Toledo. Like we filled, we filled seven 40 yard. This house was 1800 square feet. We filled seven 40 yard dumpsters. Wow. Seven 40 yard dumpsters with trash and probably a full 40 of that was porn. I was just like, (laughs) holy crap, this guy. Wow. Yeah. Like it was just. It was the most I'd ever seen in one in pornapalooza. And yeah. it was just, but it, the funny thing was, is it was either porn or it was uh, like the stuff that we found was so goofy. Like we would find plastic bags full of uh, toilet paper cardboard. Oh yeah. the Yeah. I'm the like, whatever. I don't know what we're going to use that for, but we got 40 bags of them. <laughs> you had to keep them. Yeah. I was like, holy cow. Yeah. So that was. That was by far, and and uh, yeah, that was no s boy. No, that was bad because well, the good news was is that we actually found a tub that we didn't know we had. Yes, so. <laughs> I found a bathroom I didn't know was there. No joke, there was like all this stuff like walled off, and I was like, okay, that's interesting. And then I was like, well, let's pull this. So we pull the thing off, and there was a tub. There was a tub and a tub surround right there, and it was like oh. off with like a piece of luon. Oh, yeah. There you like, go. So now this makes it a this makes it a three bed two bath instead of a three bed one. Bingo. <laughs> Love those. Yeah. 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 My worst was a um what I just call the cat house. Yeah. So it was a small house. It was like 671 mm. square feet. Mm. Uh, I was the realtor told me it was a cat house. So I drove by it. I saw what I thought was five to seven cats outside i couldn't go inside because of this or that reason um but the price point was like i mean i don't care if there's nothing in there i'm gonna do this yeah (laughs) i'm I'm like i've seen enough okay there's five to seven cats how could it be how bad could it be Hmm. little did i know there may have been 70 cats at this at this residence there was actually uh, I swear the back door was never closed. It, it, they just, they were everywhere. And um, lots, lots of landlords would tell you about, you know, cat pee and the smell and the urine and all of that. I actually had to rip out all of the subfloor and all of yeah. the drywall. Yeah, I've done that. Um, mm-hmm. I did, I mean, I mean, it's like, can we, no, this is all got to go. Yeah. All that we ripped it out, saw the beams, you know, it was, that was that was a lot lot bigger problem. Thank God the house was only less than seven hundred square feet. <laughs> so, but still, that was I actually that was I think that was the only house I opened the front door and did not go inside. I'm like, <laughs> I own this thing. I don't have to go inside. <laughs> I pay people to do that. Yeah, I'm like, nope, I'm out. I had one with black mold and a hundred cats, and the and the porn stash was so Jeez, wow. <laughs> All right. That, yeah. I, it's been a while since I thought of that cat house. Just that, just this, it literally felt like oh, I got punched yeah. in the nose. I was like, yeah. Like I felt dizzy. It was, it was weird. It's assault. Yeah. It was yeah. bad. It was bad. Okay. Question for both of you. Yeah. Why are you and, or why, why, why are you Dion and you Matt still working instead of doing real estate full time? 
Oh, we'll go to Matt first, I guess, this time. Why are you working, dumbass? <laughs> Just so my friends can call me dumbass. <laughs> we'll, still, we'll still do that after you quit. Yeah, yeah, not, that's not because you're working, dumbass. Well, now, now they're in trouble. Now I quit. Yeah. <laughs> um. I think so. I think the thing for us is it's like I'm just super ultra cheap. <laughs> like I'm just wicked cheap. I mean, I still the job that I have is all right. I don't love it as much as Dion loves his, but the yeah. job that I have is all right. And you know, it, it means something to the other people. I'm an executive, and so it means a lot to the people that are there that I stay there. And yeah. you know, so I don't know. I think it's one of those things where um <laughs> we're starting, we're definitely starting to look at the fact that we might be able to financially afford it. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. All right, Dion, how about you? I like the answer you gave in your live stream better, Matt. So I'm going to which, dime you out. Yeah, which one was that? <laughs> he said, I'm going to find out how old Mike was to the day <laughs> that he retired, and I'm going to retire one day sooner so that I can always hold that over his head. The answer is great answer. The, the answer is four. So I'll tell you exactly. It's, it was 45 years old. Yeah. Six months, and okay. it would be 15 days. Okay. Because I remember the day. And I, I like how you, you glanced over the other question of who's the least yeah, good looking. I'm not uh, good yeah. job. I, I don't care. There's a trophy it's for least good looking. It's me, so I'll take it. Yeah. Um, oh, no, I got that. No, so I got that. <laughs> See, I knew that would be a good argument. Yeah, I'm not, not going there. All right. Dion, so why are you dumbass still working? <laughs> well, a lot of people in the fire community talk about retiring early. And I have said this before. I don't think I'll ever retire late. I run a truck driving school, so I get to play in trucks like they're a go-kart. Yeah. We're putting in simulators now. So we actually were designing scenarios and it's like playing Sims for other nerds out there. You could put your little characters out fighting in the street to create a distraction for the student that's driving the simulator. I mean, oh, nice. we're playing at work and somebody's learning a skill. And then I run a nonprofit that helps people find jobs. Awesome. What I do hasn't felt like work in over 10 years. So yeah. I don't know. Yeah. My one month off a year is going to become three months off a year. Uh, but when you retire, when you unretire, that, that'll you be retired for me. Gotcha. Right. Gotcha. Yeah. And for me, my answer mm -hmm. was I always wanted to go until I was 50. It was just a number I had in my mind. Mm -hmm. I loved my job. I would have done my job for free, except for this one person. <laughs> one person who he and I equally didn't get along. I mean, it was, it was pure hatred both ways. So it wasn't like it was only one-sided. He thought I was a jerk and whatever. And he's probably right. Um, <laughs> probably right. Uh, so, but yeah, it, uh, kind of three strikes that every year my job changed, quota, product changed. Wrong person, wrong product, wrong quota. I remember going to work excited, standing in the meeting going, this is not going the way I thought it would go. And then like strike one, strike two, and strike three came. I'm like, wow. I got this real estate thing on the side. Exactly. It's, it's kind of nice. <laughs> I would like a package and <laughs> I will leave today and, you know, we'll sign some NDA. So you say nice stuff. I say nice stuff. I remember texting Olivia because literally I left. By the time I made that statement, I was out the door in 10 minutes. I texted Olivia. I sent in, I sent in like two HR things because it was, it was review time. So I didn't want to feel like I left somebody in a lurch. Yeah. I left my computer. I think I took, I don't think I even took anything from my desk. I think I wow. took one award. I think I took one award I, I wanted from my desk. But yeah, I was like, well, that day didn't go how I thought, thought it would go. Yeah. Um, but then I got, again, I wasn't prepared. I was five years early. Mm. And to the other question in the book is, or, or the other, the last question is like, what would you do? I strongly encourage you to not to do that until you can answer that question. Because I got as close to being depressed as I've ever been. And that is a bad feeling. I never want to feel that again. And I would not want that for the two of you. So answer that question, whether that's the YouTube or educate something. I quit, didn't have a plan B. By seventh, eighth, 10 day, I felt like a loser and I kept getting worse every day. So don't do that. I, I feel like I would have won it if I get to 45, six and 14. There you go. So, <laughs> so when, when is that three, four years from now? <laughs> no, no, I'm way older than that. Oh, good. I'm so old. <laughs> no. So, uh, so you're 40 yeah, years is with that 45 years, six and 15. Yep. Right now I'm 44, four. Okay. 
So I'm 44 and four. So I got, I got about a, a year, a year and two and months. months. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. that's good. Very cool. See if I can make it that long. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Either way, you'll be able to say you beat me, I guess, is the answer yeah. to the question. <laughs> it's nice to win something, Mike. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Let me look at these. Do, any other questions that I miss? And I'm not doing that one about good, who's good looking or not, because that's just, that's not for us to answer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so I guess the audience, the, the audience yeah. knows. Yeah, the audience knows. Lumberjack landlord, nice to meet me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's, we're we're just three different individuals. You like that rugged beard type? That's not going to be me. Exactly. Yep. You like the shiny top? Not going to be me. <laughs> everybody, everybody likes their own stuff. It's all pretty good. shiny, Mike. Yes, yeah, so, those are frosted <laughs> tips, as, as you guys like to joke about earlier. I appreciate that. <laughs> that wasn't ours. That's literally what the guy said. No, that's what I, they I, said. I will, I will that was the response. <laughs> I will attest to what Dion said. That is tr- solely true. The guy said. He's got the frosted tips. And I was like, shit, next question. <laughs> <laughs> you got, yeah. I got I to gotta attend one of these live streams. Man. Oh, like man, they're com- so, comedy hour. They are. They're so fun. My sides hurt when I'm done. Like, they're good. They're <laughs> so awesome. funny. Yeah, they're funny. Well, let's just close this up with, let's pretend, let's fast forward for you, Matt. It's 13 months. That way you beat me. Dion, <laughs> maybe it's two or three years. What, what do you think is going to become your main hustle right when it's not the w2 right because maybe you still do your nonprofit, dion maybe you do these other things but at some point i think you'll transition to something else is your main thing as far as hours consumed so what do you think that might be we'll go to dion first i'll have to change the name if it'll fit but it'll be dion talk financial freedom from the beaches of thailand (laughs) i like it they have wi-fi there i heard it's pretty good <laughs> they do. <laughs> I've heard that. I've heard the expats actually comment. It's uh mm-hmm. Thailand and Portugal, I want to say. But anyways, I, I've researched it. I'm like, where could Olivia and I go live for a while? Yeah. Not, not that I'm better bored. than Silicon Valley. Yeah, better. Remember for a while, my Wi-Fi? Terrible. How about you, Matt? What about what 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 would you do? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I get reminded by people. <laughs> um, probably first grade girls soccer coach. Can you picture it? Wow. <laughs> No, I'm joking. No, that would no, be horrible. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, where did that come from? <laughs> I've got young kids. No, it's definitely not it. Um, I would say um, I probably I probably would be uh, I'd probably be a property manager for myself for a while. <laughs> I would probably just like do it full time and then take like that over. Yeah, yeah, just like take that over and you know yeah I I'd, I'd, I'd probably I'd probably be what I would do because yeah and my wife's like that's what you want to do and then go. I mean, something like, wrong with yeah. you, buddy. Yeah, totally broken. <laughs> yeah, broken. <laughs> totally broken. Property manager. I am so happy <clears throat> to pay my property manager. Yeah. Thousands of dollars every yeah. month. Mike, maybe That's I'll what take down as a client. <laughs> yeah, well, go for it. I ain't ever doing that. <laughs> Not happening. All right, guys. Uh, we'll go back to Matt. How can people find you? Lumberjacklandlord.com, Lumberjacklandlord on YouTube, and 11:30 a.m. Eastern time this Sunday probably at least three hours of fun times and talk and real estate questions and answers. And of course, Dion's going to be doing a two hour session Monday, Wednesday, or Friday, Very starting excited. six o'clock PM. So yeah. let us know below what day you want. And Dion, where can people find you? I'm really active in the Facebook groups, uh, real estate rookie, bigger pockets and Dion talk financial freedom soon to be from the beaches of Thailand. <laughs> Love that. Thanks guys. Thanks Mike.